state of those companies that came out this weekend opposing the measure, Coca-Cola, Ingalls, uh, Toyota, Nissan? Well, you know, I understand um, that they get some pressure. I'm sure there's been a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails to them. But Governor Phil Bryant says he won't change his mind after signing the religious objection bill some critics call state-sanctioned discrimination. He says he's talked to some of those companies against the law. They have uh, good attorneys there who read this law and understand that it is balancing the scales for people of faith. That's simply all we're trying to do is say that people of faith have some protection from an overbearing government that could determine whether or not they they can continue to, uh, to be in business or put them out of business. The ACLU says it won't commit to a court fight yet. I don't think there's any doubt about it. It's just... You know, we're going to go into it. We want to send a message that this kind of legislation shouldn't pass any state legis legislature. While this religious objection bill seems destined for a legal fight, the state's attorney general, Democrat Jim Hood, says he's not convinced it does violate anyone's constitutional rights. I got a duty to defend them. Even though I don't like some laws that are passed, you know, I, I have a duty to defend it, and that's what we'll do. Hood says churches and pastors could already refuse services before the governor signed the bill. But for businesses and government offices, he says that legal fight could be a case-by-case -case basis. Hood says he doesn't like the law. It's not been good for Mississippi. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.